That was a huge upset. Uh, Granny's still a top 20 player in Vegas. I think he's like 15 right now. But K9 sure. so far projected to be top 5, obviously. Oh, after, obviously, yeah. Yeah, beating Lycan, Brosinex, uh, taking the last two game nests. And I mean, K9, in general, just being an amazing player. Um, so I'm very curious to see how he's going to be uh, in the future here. But the, the craziest thing is that when he loses, he's not out. Because last tournament, he won from loser side on a complete reset. So That's true. That's yeah. true. But turning attention to the match at hand, we have Raw versus GNT, Bale versus Mewtwo. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. This is definitely an interesting matchup. Ronnie, he he's a UNLV player. Like, he usually goes to the 8-bit tournaments. He's been coming a lot more to, like, Game Nest. Uh, I don't know if he's gone to PSG yet, but he's shown up. He's beaten Ben. He's beaten Edgar. Uh, he has a new win on Prophet, who's uh, new new on the PR. Yeah, so just because he's a bit... Uh, he's a bit... Not coming to tournaments too often, at least uh, not until last played. He's that a Wi-Fi warrior. Wi -Fi Absolutely, warrior. I played against this man on Wi-Fi. He is nothing to joke with. Um, his Mewtwo is very defensive. Um, I've noticed he likes to to be reverse shadow balls and wave bounces and stuff a lot. Um, and I love it. I love the technical stuff. Oh yeah, he's he's a very very technical Mewtwo player. I love watching him play. That's uh, what people were raving about with uh, Abba's Mewtwo, but then you know obviously oh, yeah. he dropped him uh, for more Bayo focus. <coughs> But, uh, anyway. <laughs> GNT so, doing a fantastic job of avoiding Shadow Ball right now, though. But he has to get some hits on Ronnie, whose defense yeah. seems impenetrable at this point. Yeah, a big part of this matchup uh, from you two is just to abuse the living hell out of Shadow Ball. Because as good as Bale's chip pressure can be from a distance, Mewtwo's is better, just by default. Uh, but the one threat there come through is the Witch Time. Mewtwo cannot swing freely against Bale. Yeah, and of course that's true for any character versus Bale, but I'm pretty especially if you get caught by something at pretty much any percent, it is a very, very bad situation. Yeah, if he gets caught with Witch Time right now, uh, with Bale having Rage, that that's going to be a problem. He's definitely going to die. Yeah. But at the same time, he doesn't really need to swing because that up there. Exactly. A safe kill option, uh, safe aerials, and he's got pokes, he's got shadow balls. All these tools that he can use to just zone out uh, GNT, which is making it insanely hard for him to even get in for uh, a combo. He hasn't been able to get a lot of conversions besides Witch Twist soft air dodges. Yeah. And the interesting thing about the fact that, oh my god, getting the, the down tilt and air resets. Oh my god, but the yeah. air coming through saved him from the Witch time. That's the scariest thing. And, and I like that that's a thing, because if it wasn't, uh, Witch time would be so much more broken than it already is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Nair being one of Mewtwo's few, like, answers to Witch Time, because yes, you can still get Witch Time and you'll still be stuck for a while, but because it's a multi-hand and it surrounds Mewtwo's body, Bale can't do much unless she uses one of her insane disjoints. And so. that's that's why you see Bale players, they'll hit him with the, the F-tilt or the down-tilt yeah, yeah. to get him out of that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but what I was going to say about uh, Ronnie's Mutual is that the fact that he does these, like, jump-in, like, cr uh, like you saw there, the cross-up back airs and the uh, shadow balls, Beautiful job from GAT, actually, actually learning from the last time he got hit with Nair out of Witch Time. Yeah. But uh, because he has that mix-up of Shadow Ball and Shield, he can do uh, Wave Bounce uh, Shadow Ball Charge on Shield to mix up pressure. And using that, he can actually uh, mix them up into the up throw, uh, like the jump on grab. Uh, I've noticed he, he does that to me a lot, and it's a very, very interesting mix-up. I yeah. don't see a lot of users do it. His movement Ooh, that fair is might great. take it. That was a that was a pretty raw fair. <laughs> um, Look at it. He, he's using oh, the man. pressure of Shadow Ball in neutral because yeah. he knows it can kill now to scare him into shield. One if he gets a little bit more percent, edges. I feel like up throw is gonna kill again. Oh yeah. Bale being a light character, this oh good match there from GNT. Bale being a light character, absolutely up throw will kill at this percent. Oh, oh fair oh. might take it though. That'll be game one. Off the top. With that fair, great job from Ronnie right there. Only at 39%, GNT unable to get some jank on his side, uh, yeah. possibly a conversion uh, off the top. Yeah, he's definitely going to need to try to focus on breaking through that defense that Ronnie's got going. Yeah, no openings, no openings. Shadow Ball is threatening, but it's not invincible. Exactly. He'll always flash it in neutral just to make you scared yeah. to approach and to commit. Not to mention that small shadow ball and shield is not safe at all. So if you can just run at him and just pressure him while he's charging, there's not much Mewtwo can do. Exactly. Uh, other than just throw it. But even though uh, he's he's tried approaching with Witch Time a few a few times, it only worked out for him once, and he was able to get the kill with the up tilt back air. All these other times, Ronnie's been staying relatively out of his zone and throwing out these these hitboxes when it's true or when it's uh, confirmed hit. 
Watch it in the game too here. GT is playing much more patient, just kind of jumping around on the platforms. But platforms going away, you might see something come out from either one of these players. There. Not gonna get much more other than the stage control off of that, but. One of the things that Bayo suffers from the most is having a uh, weak approach options. Oh, yeah. you can't really, you can't always ABK in. You can't always like jump in with an air. It's not that safe, especially yeah. when you have a long tail like Mewtwo or projectiles. Yeah, Bayo's an amazing character, but she's not infallible. And that approach game is definitely one of her weaknesses. Exactly, and it's understanding those things that helps you fight Ooh. against her, like how Ronnie's doing right now. Yeah. Like, geez, look at these conversions. Ronnie going for some. Pretty sick, true combos at that. That uh, that Nair affair is actually true. Almost getting the tech chase there with the dash check, but not quite landing it. It seems like a lot of these Nair combos have to be reactable too, because you gotta see if they're SDIing and where oh. they land out of the oh, combo. Almost getting the foot soul disabled, but not quite missing up that jump hit, but almost dying off the top from that witch twist. Every time oh, he misses the it, I cry. The raw disabled gets the landing, and that's gonna be the kill. I like, he does that. He's like one of the only Mewtwo's I see do that. He'll yeah. throw it out in neutral. Yeah. I actually, I, I've been trying to do that more. Yeah. It's just such a good punish option. It catches them off guard and you get a free kill for it. So why not? Another thing, uh, what I was going to mention there is that confusion. Uh, what some Mewtwo's will do at about 40-50% depending, you can get down tilt into confusion that's true. And by grabbing them with the confusion, depending on the character, you can have a couple options. Especially against fast followers. If they air dodge out of that, yeah. you can follow them down and punish their air dodge like with disable. Oh no. And depending on your rage and depending on the character, you can get a kill off that. Let's go. So I would definitely like to see Ronnie go for something like that. Ooh, but Ronnie's Shadow definitely Ball. got him scared right now, and the fact that he always has this Shadow Ball on deck is so scary for GNT when he's jumping around. He's gonna have to be a lot oh. more grounded. That but back air is gonna take it though. Ronnie's got a whole lot of momentum coming in this second stock. I don't know if you noticed, but he threw out that kind of raw disable there for a second, so he's definitely feeling himself. Oh yeah, he's feeling himself. Ooh, could have punished that with uh, disable actually. Always got that Shadow Ball on deck when GNT's jumping at him, but GNT, he's doing a fantastic job of just barely clipping it with his heels. He's always going above. And Ooh. that's gonna be it. The raw fair is just gonna fantastic end that stock. Fantastic gameplay from Ronnie right there. GNT just not able to keep up and break his defense. An yeah. impenetrable fortress at times. Ronnie. Yeah. It, it,